What is going on guys? Don checking in. Welcome to Mint, where we bring nursing to you. So today we're going to talk about the easiest way to interpret your A flutter and your A fib. You got your notes ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Hello guys, we are going to talk about atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter in under 5 minutes. But before we talk about each dysrhythmia, let us have a quick look at the normal conduction system of the heart. To know the abnormal, we need to know the normal physiology of how conduction works. So what is normal? The SA node starts the conduction from the right atrium, then it goes to the AV node right here, and from the AV node, it travels through the bundle of His and continues through the right and left bundle branches. From here, they continue to spread within the apex of the heart, within the Purkinje fibers. And so if the conduction goes from the SA node all the way to the Purkinje fibers, the EKG will look something like this. This is your normal EKG. You have your P wave, your QRS complex, and your T wave. So take note that when the conduction goes from the SA node to the AV node, that actually generates an impulse enough for the atria to contract, which causes these P waves. However, things are different when it comes to atrial fibrillation or AFib. You see, instead of just the SA node conducting the first impulse towards the AV node, you have several cardiac cells within the atria. They are all found in both left and right atria. And what they do is together with the SA node, they simultaneously conduct their own impulse and when they do they actually cause both atria to contract much faster than normal thus it's causing both atria to fibrillate or quiver and so when this happens your normal EKG does not exist instead they are going to look like this this is your typical AFib EKG. As you can see, because of the excitability of these cardiac cells, they cause the atria to contract rapidly, causing these quiver waves. So that being said, let us talk about the characteristics of AFib. Your typical AFib will have a regularly irregular rhythm, meaning the distance between our intervals will be different. And so when you see your EKG with a very irregular rhythm, your first suspect would be AFib. And another characteristic would be that there is no definite P waves, or you can call these your quiver waves. Because the atria is just quivering, there will be no P wave. So the combination of irregular rhythms and the presence of these quiver waves right here, those make up atrial fibrillation. So there are different types of atrial fibrillation, and usually these types are determined by their heart rate. If the heart rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute, this is called controlled AFib. If the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute, it will be called AFib with slow ventricular response. And so if the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute, but it's between 101 to 150 beats per minute, it is called AFib with RVR. So RVR stands for rapid ventricular response. And if the heart rate is more than 150 beats per minute, this will be called uncontrolled AFib. Now let us talk about atrial flutter. Remember in AFib, there are multiple excited cardiac cells within the atria. However, in atrial flutter, there is only one excited cardiac cell on top of the SA node. Now, you have to remember that this is just a representation of an extra cardiac cell, not necessarily that it can only be found within the left atrium of the heart. Sometimes the extra cardiac cell will be found in the right atrium as well. And so the firing of this extra cardiac cell together with the SA node form these flutter waves right over here. Your atria are contracting much faster than normal. Almost similar to AFib, but it is more uniform. Let us talk about the characteristics of atrial flutter. These uniform waves right here kind of look like sawtooth waves. Just like this. Another characteristic of atrial flutter, and this will be another difference between AFib and A flutter, is that usually atrial flutters have regular rhythms, meaning same distance between our intervals and you have atrial flutter. So as a review, atrial flutter has these sawtooth waves right here and they are very uniform and the rhythm is regular. On the other hand, in atrial fibrillations, you are not going to see these waves right here, these sawtooth waves right here, but instead you're going to have quiver waves. And one of the major characteristics of AFib would be they are very irregular. That is it for today, guys. I hope you guys found that video helpful. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. 
by doing this, our videos will go straight to you. But don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified when we upload new videos. Once again, my name is Don Mint, signing out.